Stephen. Barry. Stephen. Guess which podcast it is. Grow room time. Grow room time. What are we talking about? Stephen. Barry. Hit the lights. Dim the lights. Dim the lights. Can't. Why? Because the person who built the room didn't put dimming features into them. That's the dimmer. Yeah, but they haven't wired it up properly, no, so they don't dim. No, they're just not dimmable bulbs. Wow, who bought them? Me. Yeah. Barry. Go and push the lights. Dim. <laughs> dim, Barry. <laughs> Hold the phone and tell the people what the podcast is about. Well, I... It's about... We're going to go for a £500 top-of-the-range budget setup. It's probably going to have to be a metre by a metre or 1.2 by 1.2, isn't it? Any smaller than that, you couldn't call yourself a grower. Am I right? Hey. Any smaller. Any the, smaller. You, you can't really grow in a 60 by 60 because the height's not there. An so 80 by go, 80 for... Uh, so we're going to go for a 1.2 by 1.2, are we? And we're going to build it for less than £500 yeah. and it's going to stay up for more than three months. As long as it stays up for three months, that sound. Sound good? Yeah, boss. You want, you want a pen, do you? I wanted to, pen, wanted to jot some numbers down, mate. Did some you? Some figures. It's well, all I'll right, tell though. you what, why don't you go and get a... Go and get a pen from next door while no, I talk all, about the partners. It's okay, it sounds. It's not a problem. Go on. You sure? Fire away, Stephen. Do the partners. So the partners are the people that allow us to do the podcast. Lots of alliteration there with the P's. And no, we're not going to go in alphabetical order like Barry always says. We're going to go as it's written on my board so I never get it wrong. We have Canna Nutrients, Canna UK. They provide everything you need in liquid form to grow your plants from seedlings all the way up to finished product with a lovely flush product. You can follow them at canna.uk.official on Instagram and go on their website, canna-uk.com. Talk about one of their products. Let's give them a go. At the moment, they're doing a campaign about using soil nutrients with soil. So if you're using Terra Professional, or Terra Professional Plus, then you should be using Canna Terra Vega or Terra Flores. Vega and Veg, Flores and Flower. When you use the two together, they work very, very well. If you're using Canna Soil and using someone else's nutrients, it, the match is not made in heaven. So if you're using their soil, use their nutrients. If you're using their nutrients, as in Terra Vega or Terra Flores, use their soil. So there you go. There's our little snip bit from today's podcast for canna used all products together autopot autopot underscore global or autopot cultivation consultancy on instagram check out their website though it's autopot.co.uk no electricity needed gravity fed a system for every method of growing every style in terms of size of pot and just so many systems to accommodate the variety of growers that are out there. So check out check out Autopot. Very good gravity fed system. LEDs, we're looking at sunlight. Sunlight underscore LED and Sunlight UK on Instagram. Check out their website, sunlight.com. For us for us, I've got a frog in my throat. <clears throat> for us, one of the best LEDs because of the variety of angles that you can hang them at. The adaptability that you've got with the sunlight um just austrian made efficient very very good the color barry says the color is lovely it's not playable <laughs> it's a lovely spectrum as sim as close that we're getting to sunlight at the moment so fantastic product to extract to remove any heat from your room we have can filter they are Irwin underscore can filters or can filters dot nl on instagram and can filters dot nl is their website intakes outtakes controllers filters all the fans that you'll need you can find them on their website how to use them the best filter for your style of growing method of growing get onto can filter one of the world's best filtration companies you gotta put somewhere you gotta have somewhere to put it though a bit of a home 
and we have Bud Box. Bud Box Grow Tents on Instagram and budboxgrowtents.com. It'll tell you all their sizes in silver, in white, different heights, thick poles, military grade zips, everything you need to house your plants, your lights, your extraction. And you can do pull-ups off the bars as well, which is always a nice feature. Check out Bud Box. Gavita. No introduction is needed. Every different type of light that you can imagine for growing plants, they provide. They are Gavita International and Gavita. Barry's turned the lights off, so it's really hard to read that one. Gavita North America. But check out their website, gavita.com. It'll tell you all of the reflectors, all of the lights that you provide, how to use them, how to hang them, everything you could need to know about using a Gavita light, gavita.com. And last but by no means least, Garden Culture, who are Garden Culture Magazine on Instagram and gardenculturemagazine.com. Go and check out their website because most of our partners are sponsors and advertise in Garden Culture. Eric only takes the best and he only has the best writers writing his articles. So go and check him out and you will learn lots and lots and lots. So now we're going to hit the break. We're going to go and have a, I'm having a drink of water. You can have a tea, coffee or a beer if it's that time of the evening. Or if you're a lady, you might have a glass of wine. If you're a lady, you could also have a beer, whatever you fancy. Go and get it. Sit back, relax. Barry's going to tell you how to build a 500 pound room. All good, ready to go. Say my voice up a little bit. Oh god, for everyone watching, the whole family. Are you ready to go? Barry built a beer in the house, in the house that I built, in the booth that I built. I know people tune in every Sunday to listen, but even when business is good, we still manage to do the podcast. <laughs> Barry, have you sorted this full, cheap, uh, uh, budget, good quality grow setup out? I've sorted two. Two? Two yeah, of them. Double the work. Double the work. I know, but I want to give, I want to give two opinions. All two options. Op- I want to give two options. I want to give the first option, which is cheap, branded, yeah, good quality. Yeah. But it's cheap. Yeah. These companies that I'm gonna say do better versions of what this is their budget sort of range that yeah. I've put together, but they also do this is sort of their beginner's range. Yeah. Like first time. If you don't like it, it's not a lot to lose. If you love it, move on. So what get the better stuff. What price have we come to? I've got it to about four eighty five. Four eighty five? Four eighty five. Okay. So But I've got a second option. That Which you have to does to. you have to listen it, to the podcast to hear the second option? It's even yeah, cheaper. Yeah, yeah, it it it's even cheaper. It's less than half the price. Yeah, but we'll talk let's, about that yeah, when we get. Let's to talk it. about the quality. Cheap. It sounds terrible saying cheap it's because budget. it's it's. We won't call it cheap. Don't say cheap. Call it budget. It's budget branded. Premium. Budget, budget. Premium. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? BP. So let's start off with the tent. Okay. Who have you gone for? Bud Box, obviously. But which Bud Box? The Bud Box Light. What colour? Silver. What size? 1.2 by 1.2. How tall? Two metre. Why have you picked Bud Box Light? Just because the backup service is good. If you bought one and something was wrong or something was missing, which really never, you know, you can take it back. Yeah. Good, like, I think 16 mil poles, I think. So it's not the worst. Yeah. Um, silver lined. Silver Not lined. the best, but again, not again. the worst. At least their silver's better than some of the silvers out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, zips, material, general durability, obviously not as good as the, 
st- the, is the standard is the pro line one. Box. Is it the pro line that they do? Is that what it's called? Pro Bud line. Box pro. Bud box pro. It's called pro line, I think. It may not be. Let's, let's not <laughs> let's not argue. Eh? It's called a Bud box pro. So this is the Bud box light. Sort yeah. of a beginner tent. Get you involved. If you like it, then you move on. Yeah. You get the better tent, which is I think the Bud box pro is a white line, aren't they? It's more reflective. Yeah, you can get the Bud box pro in white <laughs> or in silver. silver. Thicker poles. <coughs> but this is the budget premium podcast and it's about letting you all know that there are options out there for you yeah. if you can't spend a lot of money so we're starting off with the bud box light tent that's your structure yeah. top tip for setting up the bud box tent i'll go first take your time it's not it, it when i say it, you've got to take your time you can't manhandle them like don't just be putting it together willy-nilly take your time and like don't open the box with the knife. As soon as you get it out, get familiar with the instructions of it. You always set your tent frame up first. Always do the metal work. Then the actual, the skin of the, 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 the skin, the actual tent itself, you fully unzip every zip on it. And how I do it is I put the bottom on first, slide the bottom underneath, get that into place, pull it up, get the top into place, and then pull all the zips around. Um, That's how you do it. With the Bud Box Pros, the reason I've said that is you, co- you, you couldn't mess that up if you tried. Uh, Bud Box Pro. They're just solid. Yeah, you can manhandle that a bit more. But because these poles are thinner, if you did try and wedge them in and bend it, you might cause yourself a bit of a mischief. Uh, so to be honest with you, Bud Box time. like they're still a good tent. They still go together as a tent should do. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It's... You can. You can, and Barry's going to discuss this later. Get even cheaper tents. Yeah. But... You probably, the bull box light, I know people have had that for them for a few times. They've used them a few times and they've been sound. I've also known people to buy cheaper tents and they've crumpled halfway through. Yeah. So it's about risk reward ratio. Yeah. And what tent you buy. But there's two options. Obviously it's, it's budget. So if you can't afford the first option, you can always go with the second option. It's not, I wouldn't advise it, but if you can't afford it, it it's, you know, it's one of those things, at least you, you, there's another option for you to start. Yeah. So we've gone with the Bud Box 1.2 by 1.2. Bud how, Box much you, how much have Anyone, we found Any that grow shop sells Bud Box. Yeah. I found it for, I think it was 85. 85. Yeah. Good. Good starting price to get and, you there. And I'm going to be dead honest. When I've done my research, I've done it as if I'm a user. Yeah. So I haven't gone off our prices in the shop. I don't even know whether we sell it for that or whether we, what, I don't know. I've gone online and just typed in 1.2 by 1.2 grow tents. Everything that I've found is online. Yeah. But I've done two searches, obviously. I've, I've found a tent, a tent well cheaper, but I've tried to find branded ones and I'm not just finding it. I'm going to sound biased. I am because. Everyone who I've got is sort of off the podcast. Yeah. And the only reason they're on the podcast is because we chose them to be on the podcast. We handpicked them because we believe in their products. So it'd be a bit contradictive if I brought a different sense. And there is a couple of other good tent manufacturers out there. Yeah, yeah. There is. But in our eyes, Bud Box is your main man. Yeah. Bud Box has been around since TikTok and day one. Day one. Backup service is phenomenal. The uh, aftercare, everything is great about them. So it's the first one's going to sound a bit biased, <laughs> but just go online and do your own research. These people wouldn't spawn. Our podcast isn't, our podcast is run and sponsored by the elite, if that makes sense. Mm. So it, it'd be stupid of me not to find. And like I said, I've put another 10 package together and I'll tell you about it, but. The first option I'm going to give you is good branded. Because we know it'll be quality. Because we know it'll Even be quality. You might pay 4 5 for everything and we'll get around to what's in this package. But this package could last you three, four, five years if you looked after it and you took care of it, you kept everything clean. And the second option, if you got a year out of it, I'd be over the moon for the price of it. If yeah, you got a yeah, year yeah. out of it, because if you got a year out of it, it means you've used it a couple of times. You like what you're doing. You've carried on doing what you're doing. So now spend, go out and spend it. And you only have to spend on 
this setup that I'm telling you about just to upgrade that little bit more. Mm. So let's move on anyway. So we've got you the bug box. We've got the bug box. Like search these products on Google. No one's telling you to shop with us or anything like that. We're not the cheapest shop in the world. That's because we sell quality products. Yeah. We recently have started doing a few budget things. That's because we figured it out that how not, to get our hands on this stuff that's not going to crumple straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of thing. But still, so, we're going to get into it. We're going to yeah. tell you why we're not really shouting but about do it. do your own research on it. Mm. Just, it's that easy. Google 1.2 by 1.2 cents. Everything I'm telling you now about the branded stuff and then the non-branded stuff, which is more letting it's less than half the price. You could mix and match if you feel like you need to. Yeah, you might want to go with the... You might not want to go for tent. half of that and, and that you might want to go with a good tent, a good fan and filter, a cheap light and other cheaper bits. Yeah. But it's there for you. So keep repeating myself, don't What I? light are you going to put in the tent? Going to put a haughty king digital dimmable like it. Not the most expensive digital light. Not the most expensive. Get. Not the cheapest. Not the cheapest. So it's sixty five pound. Comes mm. from a company. It's a company that uh, they don't make it, obviously, but it's branded with the Haughty King, isn't mm. it? When it comes from Highlight Horticulture, yeah. most grow shops will sell these like kits as well. They come with a two year warranty. So for sixty five pound, your bulb is never warranted when you buy the kit. It is literally just a ballast that's warranted. If your shade broke or your light bulb broke, you do have to replace it. But they're not the end of the world. Your main thing is the ballast. It's got a two-year warranty on it. I think a ballast on its own is... I think when you buy the kit, it's a, it, it, it's well worth buying the kit rather than yeah, just the, the ballast. Yeah, the kit is cheaper than the sum of its parts. Yeah, like if you try and buy it all individually, it'll cost you more, but buy the kit. But yeah. like I say, the ballast has got a two-year warranty. Something that's £65 that comes with a two-year warranty, to me, is good value day, for money. Yeah. And to be honest, it's the only digital like kit that we sell. But like I say, these prices aren't from our shop. These prices are from online. Do you know what I mean? We do sell that Haughty King like for that, but I've looked online to find these prices. So no one can call me bluff because you can go online and find these prices. Yeah. So, so is that good? What, do you just need one of them for a 1.2 by 1.2? One of them, 600 watts is well enough for a 1.2 by 1.2 for anyone who's just that enough. Um, to be honest, that, that light is a good piece of grip. We sell thousands of them throughout the year and the return rate is non-existent near enough. Mm. Literally something, non-existent. Something that I've just thought about. If it's not just about grow kit and grow kit, grow, grow products that are expensive, using a 600 watt lamp can also run up your electricity. So with a digital ballast, you dim it down to 400 watts. You throw in a 400 watt bulb. Don't dim 600s to 400s. Throw in a 400. It is going to affect your yield. You won't get as much back, but you're going to save 200 watts of energy yeah. over three months. And you're going to save yourself a little bit of money. If you started, if you just done the veg with the 400 watt, hmm. then when you went into flower, then put a 600 watt in. Yes, because you've words. got the ballast. This ballast will run... 250, 400, 600, and I think it does 660. Super, yeah. super the super so sort of at the, at the end of the plant's life, you can really push it to get the most out of your plants. But I don't advise it because it's just 600 watts is enough in a 1.2. Yeah. But like I say, if you're worried about electricity bills, you could always use a 250 watt mm. for your veg. Might take a little bit longer, but... It's you're saving, not, on, the lecky, you're saving you? on the lecky, all right. It might take you a little bit longer, so you'd have to work it out whether longer was better than shorter with more power. But let's not get into that. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not a spark. I know bits and bobs, but I'm not a spark. Quick tip as well for you. If you've had your shade for a while, um, take it down, take the bulb out. They haven't had the shade for a while. No, these, this are, brand is just, new. these are just top tips. These, these people now are out the wrapper. I know they are, but there's also long-term listeners, and we've got to throw in some good top tips. So... If you've had your shade for a while, um, then take it off, replace, take your bulb out, warm soapy water, give it a good clean because the amount of dust and grease and oil and shit that builds up on it reduces the amount of light reflecting back off it and it will reduce your yields. So increase, I would give it a quick wipe, cost you nothing, increase your yields. If you've had your bulb for longer than, if you've bought a cheap bulb and you've had it longer than say six months to where it's replacing your bulb, because even though it's a twenty pound 
expense or a 17 or a 15 pound, depending on where you get them from expense, replace it. You get much more output from yeah. a brand new bulbs. So here's some top tips for people who might have already had some cheap setups. Yeah. So we've gone with the Haughty King. Yeah. So we've got the Bub Box Light and the Haughty King Light Kit. So how much are they on so far? So they're on 85, 65, 70. 150? 150. Quick maths. Quick maths, lad. <laughs> I'm shit at maths, lad. Well, so we're on 150. So you've we're on 150. And, light. and you've got your, 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 yeah, yeah. What are, what are we doing to get rid of the heat? Extraction, I'm going to go with, obviously, because they're the sponsor. Oh, no, not obviously because they're the sponsor, because it's a good brand and product. <laughs> and I've just go on Google and say, it's this yourself and you'll find it. So I'm going to go with the Can Fan. Yeah, six uh, inch. Six, six inch. And I'm going to go with the Can Light six inch filter. Yeah. Now, you With a bit get... of combi ducting and some uh, clips. Uh, you don't even have to use combi Oh, yeah. That, you know what? That's one of the things I've seen on the park. It was like cheap combi. But you yeah. can go even cheaper and you get You can go Ali even ducting. cheaper and get Ali ducting. Let's just stick to the Ali ducting. The kit that I found online was £150, I think. Yeah, and that was, that was the six inch fan, the ducting, the clips and the filter. Now... £150 for a can. Forget the fan for a minute. Just the filter alone is your safety net. Now, to get a good branded filter is like, don't scrimp on that. Do your research into it. Go on some forums. Do whatever you need to do. Listen to us because we know. So you shouldn't have to go on a forum. But can filters are phenomenal. They are. They do what a filter is supposed to do. They're not like, don't go and buy an unbranded filter. Yeah. Do not do it. It's just not worth. It's just not the worth yeah, the The all the aggravation it will cause you. It's just not worth it. They don't work. Some of them might, but not for very long. Can lights are number one. They are. They're one of the top sellers, and they're cheap enough. Branded, cheap enough. You've got good quality grip. So yeah. we've got our tent, we've got our light, we've got our extraction kit. Yeah. We're pretty much nearly set to go. What are the other little bits that people might What are we up about? to money-wise? We are up to, we were on 150 and now we're on another 150. Three ton. Three ton. £300 for a tent, a light, a light and a and fan and filter kit. kit. That's cheap, especially and being branded. Branded good gear as well. Yeah. Next up, we have to turn the light on and off. So the only option is plug and grow timer yeah because you can get them for 15 pound you might be able to get a cheap timer for i think tenner. i think the cheapest to see online and you might find cheaper i don't know i didn't spend hours and hours doing it was about 12 pound 18 pound yeah. you might even be able to get cheaper a three pound yeah. plug-in timer don't exactly don't get make sure when when you're buying a single timer don't go buying. Don't think, oh, I can shoot the B&M now or I can shoot the Omen bag and I go and buy a timer because it will not run a 600 watt. Did you like it? Will not do it. It's Like I say, I'm not a spark, but it's it's the amps that are involved in is it, isn't it? And the so, load. And the load and all that. Just don't do it because it's just a pure fire risk. Go and buy the plug and grow timer. £15. It tells you on the box it's capable of running that. Yeah. You know and if I mean? you went and bought that BM t- timer, what are you saving? You're saving yeah. £12. You know, what you're doing is you're putting everyone in the household at risk that it goes on fire. That's what you're doing, mate. That's worst case scenario. Yeah. Best case scenario is your light just doesn't come on and you yeah. put yourself back by in a few two days months. Until you notice. Two months into doing whatever you do, then it all goes to shit because your light didn't come on. Yeah. So don't scrimp on that. Just do not scrimp on that. Even in the cheap. The cheaper, cheaper shit kit that mm. we've got, it's still, still got to put. It's, the, it's still got to put and grow timer because there's no other option. So our lights on and off. It's in a tent. That's extraction sorted. That's We're fifteen pound. Three hundred and fifteen pound. Now we need pots and cocoa. Pots and cocoa. All soil. In a one point two by one point two. If it was me <laughs> personally, I'd just go in a fifteen liter. Maybe an 11 litre, but I'm just going to go in a few. Uh, 15 litre pot, four of them. Or even a 10 litre pot. 10 litre pot. No, no, what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in the middle. And you know why I'm going to go in the middle? Because it's one bag of cocoa. I'm going to go in a 12 litre pot, which is more than enough. 
Yeah. Then one fifty litre bag of cocoa will fill it all. So twelve litre pots, four of them. You're looking oh. about a fiver. Yeah, if something that. like that. And a bag of cocoa. Tenor. Not the best cocoa, not the worst cocoa. Ten pound. So you're looking at fifteen pound. Yeah. And we're on three eighty. Three eighty. So feed wise, you don't want to skimp on your feed. Don't go buying just some fucking random shitty feed from somewhere. Buy a good feed. Now the feed I've put together isn't the cheapest, isn't the dearest, but it stands up for itself. It's been the longest feed that's been round, which is kind of so. A one liter A and B, fifteen pound for the pair. One liter Riso, thirty pound. One liter can of Boost, fifty pound. One liter can of PK, fifteen pound. Uh, all in all, one ten. A, a one liter can of that doesn't need not needed really, is it? But let, well, let's just throw a two hundred. Let's throw two hundred and fifty mil in fiver. No, they're not a fiver. Two hundred and fifty mil can of them. Oh, that's the PK, that's isn't the it? The PK. Any? Fucking hell, this is bad. Yeah. We don't sell that many two fifty mils. Nah. We can buy the fifty, nah. the one liters, which let's is twenty pounds. Let's just say it's a tenner. Sound. So it is. Food, it's a tenner. Is it? I think it is. One twenty then for your food. Yeah, one hundred and twenty pound for your food. If you don't re- don't want to spend that, you want to go super super budget, but using good quality stuff, you've got to buy your A and B. That's your meat, your veg, and your roast potatoes. That's what you need on your Sunday roast. And then if you're going to buy another bottle, I'd buy a PK. I'd make sure that you get your PK in there, and that's fifteen pound. Next up, I'd buy the Boost, which will enhance the uptake of all the other nutrients. Then I'd buy the Risotonic, which is going to increase vegetative growth, root growth, and then your Canazans, like your nice little dressing on the top, helps keep the roots healthy. And uh, there are other products you, you can buy, but they're really the core products. Yeah. And buy them in that order and just see how much uh, money you've got. So, so A and B, PK, Boost, Rizzo, Canazan. So what are, we on, order. what are we on now then? Um, well, with £120 food, we are on 380 Five ton. 400 Five ton. Five ton. Five ton. We're done now, aren't we? But I guarantee you, if you go into your shop and go, that's the full kit, do you reckon you can throw me a light hanger and a temp gauge? They're going to go, go on, yeah, there you go. Definitely. million so, percent. say MPK said, yeah. if I'm spending £500 on a full kit, you can and, definitely and I am just going to put it out there. That, and a light hanger. Yeah. Yeah. And they're going to, temp gauge If you, if you went tenor. into a shop and you were buying all that together, you'll get it cheaper. These places are just offline individually. Anyone he is now can type in online 1.2 by 1.2 full setup, full grow room setup, full tent setup, whatever you want to type in to search for it. And you'll find them for the same price that I found them. Now, but to be honest with you, if you go on eBay, they're a lot cheaper. But just don't do it because it's absolutely shit. On average, for a 600 watt light, the fan that you need should be moving Around the 400 mark, no less than 400, let's say, should be moving more than 400 plus. If you go on eBay and you buy the setup that I seen, I think it was £130. It didn't come with feed or pots or anything. It was literally just tent, fan and filter, and a light kit. The light kit was magnetic, I think, and it was about £130. The fan moves, I think it's about 120 cubic metres of air an hour. As soon as you turn that light on in that tent, if that light doesn't melt the tent, then it's just it's just a load of shite. Don't do it, mate, <laughs> honestly. We now, and it's mad because we talked about it, didn't we, that we've put a budget set up in the shop, yeah. which is something We're doing we, an experiment, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're doing an experiment just to see if it works. We've but, got sparkler chilies. Yeah. Just something for us to do through the summer. Yeah. And we've bought from a good wholesaler. Yeah. It's not from eBay. Yeah. A good wholesaler, a complete setup. So that's tent, light, extraction, pots, cocoa? No. No, no cocoa, just pots. You got And a timer. And I'm going to be dead honest as well. Shall I tell them the price of it? Yeah. It's £220. For a 1.2. For, for a 1.2 by 1.2 set up so that's your tent and to be fair the tent is actually okay 
silver lined, obviously not the best reflective, but it's good. It is. I was impressed when I got it all out. I was expecting to get it all out, put it all back and put it in the bin. Not even send it back, couldn't be asked. But I didn't. So the 1.2 by 1.2 tent, and it was actually, it beat me expectations. It was all right. It came with, uh, do we know what the name of the digital like it was? Yeah. Is it Lumi? No. What, Omega? Yeah. Omega. Omega. 600 watt digital dimmable light like kit. We had these in the past. They were shite. Yeah. And in the past, I mean, in the past, past three, yeah. four, five years Apparently, ago. they've got a lot better. And we're about to see. Yeah, we're about to see. We've got it on 24 hours a day running to see how long it lasts. So that's the tent. Omega light like kit, bulb, ballast and shade, digital, plug and grow timer. Yeah. 12, uh, four 12 litre pots. Yeah. It came with... Fan filter, ducting, clips. That's that's the bit that we need to speak about. Yeah, because it isn't the Fucking greatest. shite. It's shite. Yeah, the it, fan. I when I say it's shite, and... to be honest with you, the fan moves, I think, I looked at it, and it moves around 350. Mm. Well, it says it what it, that's what it, it says it moves. Yeah, that's the other problem. That's, it says that's what it moves. It could be moving fucking 280 for all I know. But to be fair, me and Jalal, we haven't put a 600 watt bulb in it. We've put a 400 watt bulb in it. Just because we don't need 600 watts to grow fucking. That, spa- that particular sparkle of chili. Yeah, the sparkle of chili. Um, so we put a 400 watt in it. We've had the tent sipped up for a couple of hours and it has been hot outside. And to be fair, with the 400 watt bulb in it, it's working fine. Mm. There is a bit of vacuum in the tent. It's working. You can see it's, it's good. So I don't know whether to filter and not. What we'll have to do is put you in there, put the filter on and stand on the other side and see if we can still smell you. Yeah, definitely do that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Put some of your trainees in there. That's that's what we need to do. We need to do a test where we put something in there or someone who stinks and turn the filter and stand on the other side. Put your sludgy trainees in there. I'll get in there and fart me head off. And just see if it comes out protein fat and just see what happens. See, see if it gets into it. But <coughs> it's not. So it's 220 pounds. Now we're going from a 500 pound setup. And well, we're saying no, it's, it's not, is it? It's a 500 minus 120. Yeah. Yeah. Minus true. a bag of coke goes 130. So looking 370. So it's an extra yeah. 150. Yeah, so it's an extra 150 to get the good branded yeah. budget range. That we have a stamp of approval on. Yeah, rather than the shithead. Yeah. So, which you need to the say shit 150. Head, I'm saying the shithead and people who can't afford the £500, people who want to save people the, who can't afford the £380 because our t- no. set up had food in it and cocoa. Yeah. So £380 our set up comes to our like set up could be a lot cheaper. If we really, if you took the food off it and just said, yeah, if oh, you yeah, just want to grow, if you want to be organic and you just want to go in a soil, it's ten pound for a bag of soil and ten pound for a one liter bottle of organicus by Buddhasy. So, but that'd make so, yeah. So what's that? So it takes it takes hundred pound off it. Hundred pounds. The food's hundred. The food's at hundred and twenty compared to two fifty. And that's is that just the food or is that the food with the soil? No. That, that's the food with us. So basically what we're saying is you can save £150 by by basically properly scrimping. As we had food and soil, <gasps> excuse me, we had food and soil in our setup. They, they don't. So minus the food and soil off ours, yeah. you're saving £150. Yeah. So can you afford £150 extra to get the good quality MPK Live stamp of approval products or do you need to save that 150? And if you do is need there to, something that no, else it, that you could spend that on? I, I wouldn't say it like that because it sounds. If you do need to save the 150, you need to save 150. Is there you? anything better that you could spend that on? <clears throat> like if they needed the cheap setup, what could that 150 pay for? A better fan and filter. Yeah. So if you can, if you if you can get the better fan and filter. One thing I would say is if. If you haven't got the money on it, and it is, you're literally scraping it from everywhere just to get it. Two products that I would definitely don't avoid not buying. Buy them and just forget about it and then scrimp on everything else is 
I'd definitely go for a can like filter. Mm-hmm. And I would definitely go for the plug and grow timer. Yeah. The rest of it is entirely up to you. If and you're on a budget. If you're on a budget. So straight away, I'd spend the £165 on a can light six inch filter. Yeah. A full kit though with the can fan six inch. Ducking and clamps. The ducting and clamps. So you've got the full kit and a plug and go timer for £15. It's £165. Tent, you can do whatever you want. I've seen tents on eBay 1.2 by 1.2 for £45. You could get it, set it up, and literally be able to see through it. Yeah. The zips it's going to have holes in it. It's, it's going to have holes in it. When, when we say holes, we've got me fucking big holes in the side. Like but just when the lights light on and, when, when the lights on and you zip it up, you are going to be able to see the light through, through the actual stitching of the tent. Bud box, you don't get that. It's jet, jet black. But if you're on a budget, it is what it is. You've got to do what you've got to do, haven't you? Yeah, you have. And there are options out there. But just and so Barry told you what not to scrimp on. What turns your light on and off? And what takes and what you use to prevent your house smelling of cayenne pepper chilies or tomato capis or oh, garlic. Do you know what I mean? Whatever it is that you're growing. Mint. Like I love rosemary, m- mint, lavender, lavender. You might like the smell of lavender. In but you that don't case, want it all over your house. Don't even put a filter <laughs> on it. But just don't scrimp on it. Yeah, don't scrimp on the fan and filter side of things because it's what you need to remove the right amount of heat. Yeah, and it's what you need to remove smells, whatever smells it is that you do. So if don't you've scrimp got any, on that. if you've got any thoughts, questions, ideas, send them in to us. At NPK, I get this wrong every time, don't I? But because I've changed it a few times between live and podcast, our Instagram is at NPK Podcast. If you have any thoughts or ideas, message us, comment on one of our posts, give us a DM, let me know, let us know what you're thinking about. And, and if um, you phone the shop and say, I want the body builds budget set up, that's 0151. I'll do you for 475. 0151-228-8306. Barry will look after you. Bring the shop and ask for Barry. Let's, let's get him harassed this week. I will. I'll do it for 475. And that's all top quality products. Why are you shaking your head a bit? I'm not. That's what like, you, you, you can have a lot of work to do. Ah, I don't mind sending out kits like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Send out kits. No, that's, that's, that's your not, job. I know. No, you, you got to come in the shop to get that deal. Come in and ask for Barry no, no, and spend no. half an hour with him. We will send it out to you. Not a problem with free postage mm-hmm. if you want it. Okay. And it is a good quality setup. It it's is, branded. It but if you don't want it, I'll also send you out the £220 one. Just don't be sending it back. <laughs> no, it, we're not going to sell that until we've given it a good couple of months test in the shop first. Make sure we're all safe. But no, uh, looking good for now. And a um, nice short podcast because... We do have on ne- a little bit. What's next week? Next week is we're going to put some effort into this. I think we go toe to toe because it's hard. To, like me, we were thinking, you weren't we? You can't go toe to toe with me. I know because you stink. We couldn't have done a budget tent toe to toe because it just would have been pretty similar, yeah. wouldn't it? But if you've got, I'd have ended up fucking on analog light kits for fucking forty pounds, <laughs> just trying to win. And plastic, it's just melted and plastic and second hand. I couldn't do it because it's just not right. No, yeah. it's just not right to do that. But are we going to give ourselves a up, budget? Setting up an absolute belter, unlimited cost grow room. What size are we going to do? I reckon we do. 2.4 by 2.4 space. Why wouldn't we do the one meet the 1.2 by 1.2? Because there might be people out there who have got the money and want to have a go. And so why don't we do the 1.2? It's just uh, oh, unlimited you budget on talking. 1.2. Unlimited budget Cans on 1.2. All right, if, all right. If you've got an unlimited CO2. budget and you want to build a 1.2 by 1.2 room, you go right ahead. The maximum space that you've got to build, we've built, we're going to build our walls right now. Is three meters by three meters. That's the maximum space that you've got. What are you gonna do in it? And three meter by three meter. Yeah. Don't know. You've put me on the spot. Well, you, that's not. That's because you're not answering it right now. You're gonna answer it next week's podcast. Why can't I do a one point two? Well, you can. But I've got. We both got three meter by three meter spaces. If you want to do a one point two setup, but be the my problem guest. that we've got is we're both gonna put the same shit in it. I don't think. I don't know. 
I don't know if okay. you will. Okay, I'll put a spin on it. You've got to use HPS, I use LED. Why? Because that's how it goes. All right, I'll tell you what time of year it is. January the 5th. No. <laughs> yes. I'm doing LED and you're doing HPS. And don't tell me that there's not still good quality HPSs out there. It is, they're very good quality HPSs. And I know there's good quality, unbelievable quality, and the future is LED. So I'll why are you that. taking the future and you're giving me the past? Because I live in the future. I don't live in the past. I do. I don't. You, you do. I've seen your saying, Steve. I'll knock your block off. You've got no chance. You're trying to knock my block off. You take three blocks off yourself. If you hit me, you'd hate me. I know I would. No, I meant that the other <laughs> way around. If you hit me, you'd hate yourself. All right. We've also got to say thank you very much to Gareth and Jay and Dave from Highlight Horticulture, yep. the people at Canna and the people at Biobiz for sponsoring me, Barry and Jalal on our mission. Yeah. In the Lake District, we're doing basically a triathlon. Yep. We're doing a 24-hour triathlon. And Stephen, I'm going to say this, I'm going to swear, so if there's any kids, but you know, Stephen is now the fat bastard in the shop. It sounds terrible, but there's always been a running joke in our shop on who's the fattest. And I'll be dead honest, it's always been me because... How long a has bit it been like Paddy for? the Baddy says, I'd rather be fat and happy, but at the minute now, I wouldn't. I'm like... What a... I've How gone long have you been the fat bastard for? About eight years. How long have I been the fat bastard for? About three months. Three months? Yeah. So, don't start yeah, coming out here swinging Amy great. because, mate. Cause it's great, you know, honestly. Listen, it's great. I like, can't got, wait to see I, this fat bastard. A if three I just and a half hour about tre- running. We've got to do a three and a half hour trek up a mountain and back down. Piece of piss. A two and a half hour bike ride. Don't even say piece of piss. I've seen you on a bike. I bet you are the bike. Pedal backwards. Two and a half hour bike ride straight after it, followed by an hour and a half row on a lake. <sighs> <That's right. laughs> the bike ride, I'm looking forward to it. I'll piss that with my eyes closed. That's not the a problem. Hill. The row, I'll probably piss with not a problem. No, I reckon we're 50-50 on the row. You'll do the bike. I wish it was a race. I really do wish it was a race because that would be interesting. But we've got the bike ride, I'll we've piss you. Together. The bike ride, I'll piss you. I know, but I'll Up the mountain well, and that. I'll uh, be well ahead. I, I, I'm in full training for that, though. I was there this morning. I was on the rower, banging out pure rowing. I was on the running machine, pure running. I'm doing fucking kettlebell snatches. All I have to do is think fucking, about running and I'll fall shit back. It falls off me. It falls off you, my ass. Yeah. You've got you Popeye. You've it got might Popeye have felt biceps. Stephen, Stephen says he's a mountaineer. And that's what he tra- That's what he done years ago in college. He done outdoor survival and expert shit and public health and nutrition. Ask, I wish these could speak back because you'd know, you'd know what I mean. Since I've known Stephen, he hasn't done one mountain, but he calls himself a mountaineer. And he hasn't been up one mountain. The most he's done is Sugar Hill. Where was it? Sugar Loaf Mountain. Is. Sugar Loaf Hill. Not a mountain. The sugar. Since I've known I've him, done that's all mountain. he's done. I've done Snowden. So, Snowden a couple of times. When? When was the last time you done Snowden? Years ago. Years ago. When was the last time you done Sugar Hill? About sugar two Loaf years. Mountain. Hill. Mountain. No, it's a hill. Done the Brecon Beacons. How long ago? Dead 18 honest. months ago. Uh, when? 18 months ago. Who did you do that with 18 months ago, Brecon Beacons? Same time I did Sugarloaf Mountain, but Brecon Beacons no. are mountains, the hills. Yeah, so that doesn't count. But they're really count. fucking hard hills. When was the last time you went <coughs> up a proper mountain? When was the last time you done Snowden? Just be dead honest. How many years ago? Well, there's been COVID for two years. Oh, fuck Wasn't allowed to go. Off. Don't talk wasn't shit. Wasn't allowed to go. 2017, something like that. Nah, weird. It was. No chance. Well, it was the, well took, before took that. The train up. Anyway, I reckon I'm going to piss all over Stephen on this triathlon. Well, how, how are you going to judge this? How are we going to judge that you've pissed all over me? Well, I'll see you gassing out. I, do you know what? I know you won't gas out on the actual trek. I know you you'll see me do gas well. out at all. Once we get on that bike, mate, I've seen you on a bike, lad. He will hit the wall and that's it. He'll finish, but he'll hit the wall and he will struggle. We're with. all going to hit the wall. Once mate. I get on it's that bike, mate. Fucking bike once ride. I get on, I do, I do burnouts on mountain bikes. I'm not fucking good on them. It's good, it's good. I do. <laughs> I'm not good on them. I do burnouts. 
Well, I think, well you've incentivised me to get out. But anyway, when are we doing that? We're doing that in June. June. July. July. Just after. Just after. Birthday. Yeah. And um, plenty of time to train. Thank it's... you very much for uh, BioBiz and Canna and Gareth and Jay and Dave a highlight. I, know, I will be speaking pounds. to a lot more. We'll be speaking to Auto Parts and Ooh, Sunlight and, and Cans and Bud Box and Eden and Gavita and Garden Culture. And Monkey Nutrients. And Monkey Nutrients because this is for children with cancer. Mm, yeah, this is for all day hey, hospital in Liverpool. Something, not just, we haven't just picked it randomly. Uh, one of our close friends went through something that you would never wish upon anybody. And we thought, fuck it. We're going to do something for the hospital that yeah. helped them and saved them. It's a yeah. good story because he's getting much better. Yeah. And we're going to go and raise some money for them. So here we go. Thank you very much for listening to our podcast on Budget Sense. We'll be back next week where me and Barry go toe to toe, head with to Barry head. With Barry with LEDs fatty, and Stephen with HPSs. Fatty to X Fatty. Yeah, we'll that's it, lads. See, he's laying his own. Till there. Bye.